Hey guys and welcome back to Notes on Hobbies. So today we are going to play Sim Airport Episode 2. In the previous episode we learned about playing the basics of Sim Airport. In today's episode we're going to be improving the conditions of our airport so that we can get more flights in and we could earn more money than the one we are earning at the moment which is 10,600 which is not a lot really. So, the first thing on the list is we need more ticketing kiosks to accommodate more of our passengers. So the first thing we'll do is build a ticketing desk and it says here blocked by a nearby underground conveyor. So what we're going to do is go to utilities conveyor line and see that at the moment it is currently functional so we can create another desk until we remove it for now. So we'll just remove it for now and then we'll build the ticketing desk. So let's just speed it up five times and our workers are finished so we can put two desks in here and then we'll build the conveyor line back to have our baggage sent directly into our routing station. Now, uh, we also need more ticketing kiosks. So let's build them at the bottom here. Let's go place four more, oh sorry, eight more to accommodate more passengers later. All right, so we are also looking at our security area here where we only have three security personnel. We need six more to man the bag scanner and the metal detector as well. So let's hire six more security personnel. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Yay, I can count up to six. Now, there's another thing missing here that I forgot to do in the first episode, which is to assign ID check stands to this queue. So let's do that now. All right. Now we have a lot of trash going on, so let's hire another janitor. For the sake of cleanliness, please. Look at you all, you're so dirty. I don't want to put a bin in there, or maybe we can. Let's put a bin where the people are. Uh, where's the bin? It's called garbage bin. All right. When I'm rotating this, I think it's one of the things that needs to be fixed. It's only facing left, right, but it can't face up. Like, you know, that way. <laughs> Alright, let's just put it in. One here, one here. And I'm just gonna put a queue. I'm just gonna edit this queue here. Since it's assigned there. And I'll put it to coach. And I'll put this one. I will make a first class queue for the rich people. And let's put, let's assign this desk to that. And this will be for first class only. Uh, and then I'll as unassign. You have to unassign it from the previous one because otherwise it will get two queues at the same time. So let's do that. And currently it's 1440. Our schedule is saying that the next flight is coming in at 1800. That's an Aerostar 4038, which has 180 people maximum passengers. All right, what do we do next? I'm planning to expand by building another gate here. So in order to do that, I'll need, first off, an airplane gate, which is a large one. So I'll need 28,000. I will also need more benches which is five hundred dollars so I'll probably make four more of these so I'll get that makes two thousand so that's thirty thousand and then looking through I will also need two agent desks so thirty thousand plus two of these agent desks I get thirty three thousand now and then we'll need more food vending machine which is three thousand five hundred uh, unfortunately, it's expensive, very expensive. So I'll probably get four of these. So I'll need 3,500 times four, which is equal to 14,000. So I'll get 14,000. So that's 33,000 plus 14,000, 47,000. And we're talking about a lot of money here. And then we'll need a sliding door for 1,500. So that makes... 48 about 50,000 and we're only at 23 
we're earning 7720 every day. So what do you think? It's not going to be done in a short period of time. So let's just speed up the game for a moment. Choo -choo, choo -choo, choo -choo. Here comes more passengers. So they go through ticketing. They queue up. Unless I did not assign again the queue. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So now they're going to queue up. Starting from these new passengers that just arrived. And some are going to use the kiosks if they want to. Yes, look at those. See? Easy peasy. Now they're going to line up for security checks. And they're going to wait for the flight, which is now arriving. Which is a Boeing 707. All right, I'll, I'm gonna need another flight here. I might put in another night, afternoon, and morning flight. Hopefully, it will make me more money while I wait for me for my money to reach fifty thousand to build the expansion of my airport. So let's go to the airline interest. We have two nights here. One I could accept. It's both a seven oh seven which can carry 180 passengers, I'll accept one of them. Uh, here's a morning flight, it's another 707, which could 180 passengers. And an afternoon flight, it's a 767 giving me 250. So I have to make sure there's plenty of, s of s time in between the flights. So that's not gonna work. Uh, I'm gonna make two hours in between. This one's going to be an hour. And this one is going to be two hours. Where's the one that's... Oh, that's 250. So I'm going to make it a two hour. Because that's, that's going to take a lot of time. 250, man. That's a lot. Oh, no. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Alright. That's all I could do. Squeeze it in. So we got thirty-three thousand from all those from all those signed airlines, airline flights that gave us two thousand one hundred, two thousand five hundred, two thousand eight hundred, two thousand four hundred. All right, that's a lot of money for accepting contracts from those airlines. Now the next thing we need to do is to wait again for tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a busy day there's going to be a lot and a lot of people coming in every hour so let's see how our airport is going to stand that hopefully a lot of people are going to use ticketing kiosks more than the desks so uh, it could um, everything can, goods, can go smoothly Right, I'm gonna destroy this baggage carousel and I'm gonna build another one because I'm, I need to move it because it's gonna be in the way of the security queue there. So what another good thing is if you, for example, I'll cancel that, if you destroy something like an object and it's a baggage carousel and you, you put another one while that object is still on the ground, you will not be charged. So this is $5,000, look at my money, it's 32,000, 32, eh. It's $32,570. If I put this baggage carousel here, it will not... Oh, sorry. Why did I do that? Oh. Holy shit. Sorry. Um. Okay, so if you look at it this way, I've got a baggage carousel here that I've destroyed. I will put another one. So 27000 my money will not be charged still 27,570 they will just use the baggage carousel there since since there's already another one there I'll just build I'll just put that one on because there's already one here I'll just put another one on it won't charge me unfortunately I have to destroy this first so I can put up my baggage carousel over here and I will rebuild it again, which is stupid. So that has to be fixed, I believe. So 
because you don't need to destroy the conveyor lines just to build a baggage carousel or a ticketing desk on them. Okay, so I'm gonna unzone this one just because I don't think I need it there. And then I'm gonna put security, security here because that's part of the security. I'm gonna wait. The other plan is I am going to relocate the restroom somewhere else because I am going to make use of this as an exit point for the arriving passengers because once they go in here they're going to go through security and through and to baggage claim which could potentially be chaotic because a lot of people are also coming in through security so I'm just going to put them through the gate and through this area here that's what I'm going to do. So once I've got enough money, change the location of the restroom. Right, so here we are. Lots of people coming in. This flight is a Ford Air 2875. Oh, no, sorry. This flight is a Ford Air 1939, departing at 6 a.m. with 250 passengers. So let's take a look how this goes. Let's see how the first first class, I mean, first class Q is going to hold up. Oh, look, there's also a lot of people who are first class. Jeez, let's see how it is. Oh, yo, no, I forgot to hire staff. Whew, good thing I saw that before they went through. Because I forgot that I put two desks here, so the two staff from the gates went through went to the ticketing desk oh great all right starts in six five four three two one all right let's go let's see how many minutes left before we get the hundred people boarded ah look still have extra time so that was good now here comes the next the flight uh, passengers for the next flight which is the Ford Air 98 departing at 10 a.m. arriving at 8 180 max people okay max passengers um, I think I don't know uh, I'm thinking about prioritizing the changing the restroom or the airplane gate but I think the airplane gate should be prioritized first so we can get more flights and more time in between flights reducing the chances of delaying flights making sh and making sure that we get the total daily income we can achieve all right let's go speed that up all right so let's see how many minutes we have left before 80 people are boarded. 14, 13, 13 minutes. Right, so that's a lot of time for our next flight to come in. So that flight is gone. Uh, what's the next flight? Noon, 12 noon, okay. So there's a plane coming in at 12 noon and these are passengers. How many? 250 max. But I'm not yet getting the maximum amount of um, passengers because my airport just started, so I think that's how the game works. Okay, that's an autosave there. Okay, guys, let's see how we go. 99. 99. 99 passengers. Okay. Baggage claim is working. Oh, it's functional, it's functional. Baggage claim is working properly. And 99 passengers are boarded with 13 minutes, oh, 11 minutes left, okay. And passengers for the next flight are already here. So we are doing great with scheduling our flights. So we, because people are not yet coming in like, you know, they're not filling up the seats yet. So instead of 250, we only get 100, uh, 100, only 100 plus 
passengers. So it's not a lot for the airport to handle. So we are still on schedule and our flights are going going smoothly. So that's very good because the idea is to put enough time in between flights. So two hours is ideal. So because if you put it in an hour, sometimes the the departing plane would be hindered by the arriving plane so it would not be able to depart at the exact time or uh, moment or the arriving plane will not be able to arrive or land because the departing plane is on the runway so you should um, take that into consideration the only concern I have is tonight at 4 p.m. Oh no, sorry, this Aerostar 4038, there's only about 45 minutes in between the flights, so I don't know if that's gonna work, but I think I'll just put this back here, but that's gonna take effect tomorrow. Um, I don't care, I just needed that one to be changed before I forget. Now we got 147 people, all right? So let's make sure that this happens you know what I think I'm just gonna assign this desk as well to the coach only because there's um, possibility that we might get delayed if I don't if I only use one desk for coach there's because there's more passengers in the coach rather than the first class so I think that should be fine yeah everybody's boarded yeah baby all right let's go did somebody miss their flights no all right my janitors are working pretty well the, all the rubbish are being taken out properly restrooms are being kept clean you know what i don't have in the restroom is a bin that's why it's dirty just gonna destroy this one and this one and this one as well and i'm gonna put bins in there because it's so dirty Alright, fast forward, fast forward, let's do this, I want a, a clean hospital, sorry, I want a clean airport, alright, what time, 17, baggage really smoothly being claimed, alright, and we have boarded 101 passengers, Oh yeah, it's going smoothly. I since that was our last flight. Oh no, this is our last flight. It's taxiing. Uh, I think that's the last passenger. Come on. So I'm just gonna destroy this one, destroy this one, and destroy this one because I'm gonna move them. I have a plan. And now that should be fine. I just needed to move that one. So we start with the ID check stand, which is here. Just gonna rotate it. Uh, probably move it here. And then the bag scanner. One space. And then the metal detector here. So what I want to do is I want to carpet, make a carpet on this one. And no, 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 no. I just want to make a. What do you call this? I just want to make a pathway for my um, my passengers, my arriving passengers, to go grab their baggage. So I'm just gonna dezone these areas. This ones, yeah, and that should be fine. All right. And you know what? I'm gonna zone this as a baggage claim 
just so I'll know or check if that would help with the passengers uh, pathway so we will, oh what's this requires a secure area so this is not secure okay um security and it's working is it working oh no come on I'll check the reports that's only the secure area Maybe I need to put this on a security. Come on. Ah, there we go, finally. Oh. Alright, that wasn't really what I wanted to happen. But anyway, we're back to normal. And I'm gonna assign you to the queue because I forgot to assign you again. You know, people are messed up. Okay, so it has to be that way, huh? So I'll need to make another way here for them to go through. So I'll be the foundation. Oh, this is gonna cost me a lot of money. So I'll be the foundation here. And let's see how it happens. I'm just gonna dezone some of these drop-up zones so I'll get space in between the pickups and the drop-offs and also build a path sidewalk here drop-offs sorry pickups I'm gonna just dezone this little part here and the deliveries as well it doesn't get in my way. Ah, oh, they're, they're still not using that one. Oh, sorry. I forgot to put this one here. So what are we going to do? Oh, great. I made a big mistake. Anyway, we will see. We will see. So I, was, I thought I had two spaces here, but I didn't. So maybe I'll need another one. I want two. Two spaces for them to walk through here. Which I am doing a pretty, pretty bad job at. Alright, how's our schedule? Oh, status going. Everything's going as planned. Alright, um. Let's see. Let's clear this one. Oh no, let's put a door in there first. A sliding door, just a sliding door blocked by nearby wall. So I'll just clear this one. And this one and this two. Alright, let's see what happens now. Let's put a door there after. And door and build a carpet and where's my carpet I want it to be perfect there we go all right let's see what happens next Ooh, so ugly what did i do <laughs> i made three now oh uh, I'm thinking. Should I destroy this one? Looks ugly. Okay, let's destroy it. And let's put carpets in there after. Okay, let's do this. Alright. Oh, no. No. <gasps> what I gotta do to get a secure area around here? Okay. Um, let's build a wall here here and here let's see what happens oh, I'm gonna miss some flights here no please don't let me miss any flights 
please. Oh, I've only got 3,000 left. But I can't. I can't. Anyway, it's not the end of the world. And how much is the carpet? 30. So that's going to be 180. Zones. Baggage, baggage. Uh, it requires a secure area. What do you mean? That's a sick, sick area there. So I have to make the security. Okay. That's easy to fix. Let's just make this security. And then. Yay! Oh god. Because if I don't put a security up to there and up to here, people can go in through there. Oh yeah, that's right. Anyway. That's that. Uh huh, people are waiting. Oh, finally they're using it. Some are still going through though. So you know what? I'm gonna put my deliveries over here. This zone, this one. Make the deliveries bigger, please. And then I'm gonna put the pickups right here. Alright, and I'm gonna put... I'm gonna clear this one. And then just put some sidewalk, which is very expensive at the moment. Whew. I hope that works. Yeah. Yeah, not really. <laughs> anyway. Might have to disown this one. Just because it doesn't do anything, really. Alright. Okay. Off to the next day. Hopefully tomorrow we will have no cancellations. Oh, how come only 131 boarded that? 107 out of 131 boarded that line. Oh, what happened? All right. Hopefully tomorrow we get a perfect, pretty perfect, smooth scheduling. Okay. All right. I'm in the negative now. I'm in the negative. Oh no. Hopefully this day will give me more money. Alright, the next plane is coming in an hour. That's gonna put me in the positive. How much will it give me to use the runway? 3,190. That's for 250 people airplane. Okay. So the bigger the amount of passengers, the bigger money the more money you you will receive from them okay that's great it's good to know so we'll but it comes in as a common sense that the more passengers that the airplane brings the more money it should give you right so let's prioritize that next time and I don't know what's happening to these guys here come on guys What's up? There we go. I think I might put another queue in here. Sorry, another gate agent desk. I'm thinking, I'm thinking if I need it. Um, maybe. Let me just add a queue here because they keep on. They keep on stucking up, getting stuck up here and not lining up to get there, to get into the plane. So I'm just wondering what I could do. And for first class, let's add another uh, bigger, a little bit longer queue. See, there's more coach than first class on this flight anyway. All right, let's see what happens. I'm just gonna finish this day and then we'll we'll stop the episode there. All right. All right, we're in the positive now, and more people are using the ticketing kiosk instead of the desk, so which is very good because the line doesn't really get that long. 
but there's a sort of a small a little bottlenecking in the security area but that could be fixed here comes the passengers some are still going through this area but it's manageable it's not that annoying to look at here comes the first class passengers of course they get through first before them um, you know what I I want to put a desk just for the first class because I need two for the coach okay one more there Q sorry assign this desk to this this one and assign here all right let's do this what's wrong what is this oh sweet forgot to assign it to the airplane gate okay there we go Whew. there is a lot of stuff I keep forgetting yeah anyway Everything's going smoothly now. We're in 6,000. So, if this amount goes to 20,000 by the end of the day, that means nothing was delayed. We've got everything. We had zero delays and zero missed flights and zero cancellations. If that reaches 20,000. Because that already includes staff expenses. So, hopefully we get to 20,000 but I doubt it because it's already 20 it's already 8 o'clock in the evening and um, my last flight is coming in at 10 so that flight was delayed definitely delayed see it should have been gone by 2100 but it did not and this one arrived should have arrived at 2200 and anyway, it's there. So hopefully, tomorrow we get a smoother flight schedule. And I really, really need to have that money because I need to put the second airplane gate in and all the accessories that come with it. Alright, so I think I'll stop the episode there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you next time.